In this video, we're gonna talk about applying an augmented triad to a two, five, one. This is a very simple thing to do, but a ton of people do it and it sounds absolutely killer. So let's jump right into it. I have a two, five, one and F. G minor, C7, F. Now on the G minor, I'm gonna play the most basic substitution that everybody knows and everybody plays. It's a major seven built off of the flat and third. So on the G minor, I'll play a B flat major seven. It's gonna sound like this. Now on the C, I'm gonna play a C augmented triad. So it's gonna sound like that. And then I'm gonna just resolve to an F major. Now check out the sound of this thing. Pretty killer. So let's just go over some ways that you can visualize those augmented triads, right? So I made a video about caged augmented that's going to be here or wherever. I don't know where he's going to put it, but Nick's going to put it somewhere. So I'm going to take this area and I'm going to start with a B flat major seven. Also made a video about major seven shapes. Ba Bing, right? So here's the B flat major seven over the G minor. <laughs> Here is that A-shaped augmented form over that C. So let's visualize that chord right here. I have this. And then I'm going to resolve to F with this D form. Right? So if I'm just thinking about the forms, I have this. Going to this. Resolving to that. beautiful chords, but as shapes, they really work. Right? So just to develop your initial bearings, it's very good to work with these junk supposing shape in each area. Let's start down here. I have this A form for the B flat major 7. I have this E type form for the C augmented, and then I have this E type form for the F major 7. If I go up here, I have this G form for the B flat, I have this A form for the C augmented, and I have this D form for the F major 7. Continuing, I have this E form for the B flat. Right? I have this G form for the C augmented. And then I have this C form for the F major 7. D form for the B flat. And then I have this E form for the C. This A form for the F major 7. Last one. I have a C form for the B flat. I have a D form for that. C augmented. And then I have a G form for the F. 
Now, I understand there are many fingerings to go through each one of these arpeggios, but juxtaposing the shapes like this is going to give you your bearings in every area of the neck. It's going to slice it up into five positions where you're going to understand how to play over these changes. So if you're watching this video and you want more supplementary information about the major cage, there's a link right here. And if you want more supplementary information about the augmented cage, there's a link right there. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Patreon's good too. Bye-bye.